King General Atomic oversees his new secret base from atop this very dangerous pillar. Careful there, General Atomic. Uh, so we're going to carry on with the uh, lovely bolt here today and hopefully build it into a very nice secret base for the Unstoppables. Someone in the comments on the last episode said you should turn it into a base for the um, for the Minutemen and then have the Unstoppables have a secret base, given, the, given how sizable the area is. I think that is a very, very good idea and something we might have to do, given that this place is absolutely goddamn enormous. Let's go and have a poke around. And I think we're currently looking for... We're currently looking for uranium, if memory serves. Uh, do they know that uranium isn't actually a, uh, an enormous glowing green rock? Well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, hello. East sector. Oh, my God. Have we unlocked another area of this bloody vault then? Shit. Good Lord. Is this the uranium? Or is this just where there are glowing mushrooms? No? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I know the map marker's not here. Just looking around, you know. Uh, somebody said that Planty Mushes, oh, General Atomic, of course, is I uh, catchphrase, could be up and at him, but my only concern with that is that may already may already be a thing, you know? I think someone's I think someone's beaten us to that, unfortunately. Uh, that's a that's a big mile arc. That is an enormous mile arc, my god. Okay, hold on. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Oh! Oh, 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 disgusting. Oh. Oh, disgusting creature. Be gone. Okay, careful. Okay. Good. Oh, God, we still don't have the action points to use this gun properly. Jesus. Apparently, my luck's lurking down here as well. Good Lord. This vault really was very unfinished, wasn't it? Wow. Wait, did that say 20 NPCs in there? Wow. Uh, vault Tech Workshop. East Sector. Uh, unlock your buildable areas of Vault 88. Wow. There you go. Guess we get rid of the railroad tracks. I can't imagine they're going to be working anytime soon. Again, I don't think I'll build a base that, that encompasses this entire thing. Because that will... um, That might be a little bit ridiculous. And what is this? It's a sort of mass water purifier. Clearly something we can hook electrical up to. Okay. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Go ahead and do a, little, do a little tidying up here because you never know. We might need some more building supplies. Now, on the subject of uh, building supplies and the horrible things that we've built so far, somebody said that uh, there is a like a, like a 5% chance daily that your weird shit that you build, so obviously like the, the, the bike that gives them buff out and stuff like that, can just straight up kill people. And if that's the case, I don't think I want that. I don't think I'm about that life, unfortunately. We might have to... um. We we'll have to do something about that. We might have to take all that stuff away. Now, somebody said it's not very planty mush to be running these experiments. He is a scientific man. And, you know, he's seen some real horrors out there. He's not quite the innocent guy he once was. And then, of course, he became obsessed with justice. I feel like these days, he would want to set his sights a little bit higher. Maybe on curing the wasteland. Dare I say it. Trying to do something bigger and better. Do you have to clear an area over here? Is that it? Ah, uranium. It was these horrendous glowing rocks. I understand. And now there's bloody... Uh, bloody rad scorpions everywhere. Don't know why they call them that. They're not rad at all. They're actually uh, quite horrible. Fire. Got that gun slow. <laughs> okay. Give me some of that. And, uh... Oh, thank you. Thank you for the loot. Give me one of those. Did we break this down to two? Oh my god. Mine uranium ore. I guess we'll carry on. Go and pick up some more. Does it count as nuclear material, I wonder? Is there any downside for me mining all of this right now? Oh, it's like playing Starfield, isn't it? Except we're not using that really fucking annoying laser gun to do it. It's right on my damn nerves. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and grab it all, I suppose. A little bit concerned. Oh, God. There's... Whoa, there's way more. Shit. <laughs> oh! Horrible, disgusting creature. Fire. Good lord. <laughs> I like this gun a lot, but... Well, there's more than one enemy. Well, there's more than one enemy. It is It is not a good call. Well, let's go ahead and grab all of it. Shit, I don't, I don't know if we'll need it all, but hey. Again, I presume it adds nuclear material. We needed that for some of our science experiments. Oh my god, there's so much. Oh, this place is so enormous. This reminds me of that bit of Morrowind, the um, adamantium mine below that castle in one of the... One of the DLCs. Oh, there's a freaking sentry bot down there too. One earth. Do you think we could hit it in the fusion core from here? Uh, not now we can't. Hold on. Sneaky, sneaky. Pit boy light off. Come on, turn around, big guy. Come on. 
Come on, turn around. Turn around. Just take a shot at his brain. Oh, wow. Annihilate a sentry bot mark too. Don't like that. Yeah, annihilate those. <laughs> Clem and the overseer back there. It's like, what the, the hell's going on? I presume there's some more I've missed somewhere in that direction, given this globbing an ominous green color, but that's all right. Wow, eh? God damn, they really fucked this place up, didn't they? They did a terrible job. Right, is this a dead end? Thank God for that. And this is all just crap that we can't do anything with. Okay, fair enough. This is just a total dead end. Maybe you could eventually claw this out. I, I'm going to be honest. I certainly hope not. This is already overwhelming. We should probably take a right away, but I guess we'll wait till we're done with the uranium tunnels first. Is it this bit here? No? Limestone? Oh, God, you can recycle the limestone, too. Might need that for something, I suppose. There you go. Beautiful. Okay, just be aware that we haven't cleared this area out. Take it easy. Take it slow. Cool fella. Nice time. No more. No more. No, 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 no. Listen. That's a, that's a whole horde of... That's a whole horde of rats. I mean, it makes sense. The scorpions had to eat something. Oh, dear. Uh. Oh, God. They're actually stacking up on top of each other. Oh, this is disgusting. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, what the hell did it turn into then? You see that? The fuck? <laughs> Apparently, they've gone in that direction. Are they coming back? Rabid mole rat. Mole rat brood mother. I hope they don't go for my... Oh! Wow, this gun is... Incredibly inaccurate when it's not scoped. Jesus. So you put those on for a reason, huh? Okay. Let's keep going. Every time I think, yeah, that's it. That's the end of this vault. It, they just add more and more. And I remain consistently uh, annoyed. Remain very annoyed. Oh, it does just straight up give nuclear material. Oh. What's the bit we left that? There's going to be some big monster behind it. Okay. Nothing. Probably a way out to the surface. That's how the mole rats got in. Ah, clever, Todd Howard. Oh, you could just drag the uranium around. Put it at the front of the vault. Let everybody die. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Right, is there anything here? Is this all just... This is all just junk that the mole rats had. Okay. Good, then. I feel like we're finally... Finally done. Sorry, that was a good waste of the start of the episode there, but necessary evil, I think. What the fuck's the way out? This, is, this place is just enormous. Let's look at the local map. It's just ridiculous. I can't even zoom out far enough to see it. I don't know why I bothered. <laughs> the worst local map ever. Still better than Starfield, though. Right. Yeah, maybe we'll just brick all this up. I'm not sure. Maybe this would be a good place to build the... Um, the Unstoppables secret base, huh? My only problem with that is, of course, the Unstoppables won't remain in an area. They'll all just wander off. I, I imagine we could probably scrap this stuff over here, but it also could be for a quest. Right. Um, where are we heading to, then? What's the job? Build and power the Ferrocta prototype. Okay, then. Um, Ferrocta prototype. I guess we'll just slap this down over here as well. Tidy it all up later. Kapow, there you are. Okay, Clem, I need your help, friend. Let's go ahead and drag that thing over to here, if you don't mind. Beautiful. Uh, or shall, or shall, is Plancy going to test it? Isn't like a horrendous idea. Perception boost. Oh, that's good. I was waiting for a laser to come out, but obviously that's way too complex for a AAA game studio like Bethesda. Bethesda is a triple game, uh, a, 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 a C grade studio masquerading as a triple A. It's three C grade so studios in a, in a trench coat. <laughs> what do I do then? I've, I've, got to, I've just set up the parameters. Is that it? Okay. Um, subliminal messaging. Already has designed a series of micro flash images which, when played repeatedly in a loop, have a statistic significant positive effect on the test subject's view of the vault, vault tech, and the overseer. Okay. Um, didn't cause the last, uh, long lasting eye trauma. Oh, hold on. We never quite perfected an eye drop formula that was effective and didn't cause long-lasting eye trauma. Okay. Uh, something had further advantages, something had physical restraints. Okay. Um, no, thank you. That seems bad. Improved eye care. This team made a better tool for optometrists everywhere. That's it. Nothing else. Please process my request to reassign his whole team somewhere far away and cold. Okay. And then we've got uh, vault monitoring. Uh, this one, Team Walrus, is very proud of, uh, Dr. Braun. Uh, small MRI specifically designed to fit in the Ophotoropter 
When fed enough power and imaging can process visual information response from stimuli, Roman's terms it can read a subject's mind and show what they're thinking about. Right, okay. Something, something, raw shark test with hundreds of blah, 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 blah. Okay, we get glimpses into their mind. Okay. Um, listen, that could be useful, I suppose. So we'll go with that one. Then we can see if maybe they're mentally unwell and we could offer them some therapy or something like that. Ah. Uh, Looks like we have our first patient. Yeah. Really don't like her. Before Shady we begin, as hell. Clem, uh, how do you feel about children? Uh, they're all right, I guess. You ever planning on having any? Uh, I don't know. She's coming on to you, Clem. Why are you asking? Just idle chatter. Go on. Hi, you here for an eye exam with the four... With this thing? I guess. Go ahead and get in. <laughs> they all seem so pleased to be joining us in these experiments. Okay, and now we get to read our mind. So, what do I do? Just stay still. So, I just see. That's yeah, that means. Yeah. Yep. The machine will do the rest. Mm. This thing's creeping me out. All done. It says you got a uh, um, minor eye infection. Uh huh. Some eye drops will clear it up. Uh, thanks. And that's it. Nothing else. No, lady overseer. Exams all done. So strange having oh. people about. That's it. Never thought I'd be an honest to goodness vault dweller. Huh. You're a good guy, Clem. You're a good guy. Um, what does it want us to do exactly? Is that is that it? Sorry, journal. When you're ready. Uh, talk with the test subject. Oh, hello. What the hell is your game? You invite Clem and me in here to experiment on us? You some sort of sicko? Yeah, uh, everything we're doing is for the greater good. You keep telling yourself that. At least up in the Commonwealth, everyone's up front about trying to kill you or rip you off. Come on, Clem. Let's leave. These guys are assholes. But I can't. The power cycle. <laughs> Gotta pedal some more when I'm done here. Run while you can, Clem. Oh, so she's like, she's done. She's out. I wish I had never even heard of this vault. Can I have my stuff back? Ah, excuse me, could I have the pit boy? I wish I had never could... even heard of this. No. Part. Okay. Well, there you so go, Overseer. One of our residents left. Well, it'll be easy enough to replace her. The important thing is that our work is progressing admirably. Oh, it's very admirable. Yeah. Um, uh, these devices are making people angry. You shouldn't take that lightly. You have a point. We will transition to retention after R&D has concluded. This last experiment is my pride and joy. Following in the footsteps of Dr. Braun and the others. Oh god, this will end well, won't it? I've spent my time devising my very own prototype. Okay. Its premise is this. We are all flawed creatures. Uh-huh. Each with our own vices. Oh no. What if our vault didn't pointlessly try to stab out these predilections and instead harnessed them? Ah, uh, if we can pull it off, that's clever. Thank you. I seek to utilize one of the more primal vices. Greed. Greed. The it's a roulette. Oh, it's a slot machine. A slot machine. I designed it to be as enticing as possible. Choose the experimental parameters. It's a slot machine. And it's probably going to be something just totally ridiculous and unbelievable. Like, for example, it's like a small terminal you hold in your hands, uh, but it's a slot machine, and you put money into it, and it spits out pictures of anime girls or something like that. And then, like, you can fight them and then equip them with JPEGs, and it's, it's so probably unbelievable and insane that it could only exist in the Fallout world. Oh, this is a regular old slot machine, though, eh? Okay, build and power the slot machine. Uh, sure thing, I absolutely will. Don't you worry. Uh, one of, uh, uh, oh, excuse me. I need to put one of those on there. Thank you. And then put one of those on there. And then let's just rotate that so I can see the screen this time. Uh, watch your head. Okay, let's pick some parameters then, shall we? Slot machine. Indentured servitude. Wait. There's no, there's no notes. Notes from a Barstow. Okay. 
Um, the device could potentially could manipulate probabilities first entice the subject and then like drain them of all financial resources. This would ensure the maximum amount of revenue for the vault. This is the intention of servitude. The machine itself could be a standard game of there you are. Chance. Uh, but the machine is capable of identifying behavior and allowing the overseer to track those with degenerate behavior, customer profiling. If there's time to control, the probability could be adjusted to maximize returns. Uh, gamblers will win more often than not. This would prove popular and expensive, but the lost revenue parameter should only be chosen for A-B testing. Oh. So we've got to pick one that makes them play compulsively. One where we figure out their, their, their negative aspects. You know, people who maybe have a gambling addiction, we need to stamp it out. Or we pay them to play. I don't... What if I don't want to pick any? Because these are all horrible. I mean, look, the customer profiling is only bad if you do something bad with the knowledge that you get. Surveillance, Aren't perfectly fine. Supposed to have clean water? Perfectly fine uh, if... Go clam. Water's too scarce down here. Shut up. We'll deal with it. Go, go play, play the slot machine, please. Surveillance, totally fine. You can know everything about everyone. Read their mind. As long as you don't do anything bad, bad with it, what's the problem? This episode is sponsored by uh, Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, clam. Enjoy. The thing's broke. It keeps making these weird clicking noises. I'll tell you what. I'm glad I got this DLC for free. The thing's broke. It keeps making these weird clicking noises. Because I'm not sure this is, are, um... Are slot machines supposed to flash? I don't know if this is really my, um... Did the machine just say degenerate? <laughs> okay. Oh, hello. Someone else Did has turned up. Ah, uh, overseer. God, Jesus, she flipped a fucking pillow across. You see that? Time to check in with the slot machine. I can't wait. Uh-huh. I feel like this vault was a terrible idea. It's so evil. It just doesn't suit my poor guy at all. There's ways to bring goodness and forward the, the health of the wasteland. This is not it at all. This is a place of lunacy and madness. Are slot machines supposed to flash... Let's check in with Clem. Please oh. do. Hi. Is the slot machine supposed to flash? Every now and again, I swear it makes a strange noise and flashes. Oh, look you out, Clem. You imagining things. A slot machine doesn't take pictures of people. <laughs> hmm. Uh, after all the experiments, uh, what are your thoughts? It's done. Finally, hundreds of years of refining and planning, and you did marvelously. Uh-huh. vault would be so proud. I did everything you asked. Can I go back to the power cycle? I really oh. need to. My, what gusto. I'm glad you like the cycle so much, Clem. No, no this feels weird. Done. I think I will deliver our schematics to other vaults to improve their lives. Uh, d uh the vaults I know have all failed. Uh, that they're, they're empty or worse. The world's a big place, and you should never underestimate Vault Tech. <laughs> I pass the mantle on to you. She's making us overseer. Guide Vault. There was obviously that option to ask her to stay. To greatness. You're the overseer now. Hooray, thank you. Wow, reduce schools, but that's going right in the bin. Valerie Barstow, and that's it. Vault 88 is now open for business. And um, what that means is I'm going to scrap everything and we're probably never going to come back. <laughs> I, I like the idea of building my own vault, but this is too much work. I'm sorry, this is way too much work. I'm looking at this and what I'm seeing is like, not fun video game. I'm seeing an obligation. I'm seeing real actual work. And this is too... This is a bridge too far. So I think the plan is... um. I think the plan is we turn off the beacon. And we seal up the front door. And we maybe never come back. 
Because it's going to give us all of, like, the vault walls and everything, right? So I could just build this elsewhere. I could build one from scratch, but, like, a little one. And she's a... Uh, how can, how can Planty Mush... He's got high intelligence. He knows what this vault was about. He knows vault tech are evil. Who would know better than a man who was trapped in cryo chamber by vault tech lied to and as a result lost his whole family? He's not gonna... He's not gonna work with someone like her. She's a fucking lunatic. Uh, Clem? You done with all your experiments? I hope I did good. They were real interesting. Yeah, we're, cl we're closing so, down. I'd love it if you'd let me cycle, you know? Some more. Mm, uh, that no. power cycle is just the best. I could pedal on it for hours and hours. Uh, uh, thanks for all your help, Clem. You kidding? It's been an honor to do, well, anything Can I you. kick these people I out? you're the overseer now, Just, like, right? send them off into the Looking wasteland. Looking forward to giving the vault my best. Ugh. No, you're okay. You're okay. Uh, you, I mean, you're welcome to yeah. stay, but I'm, I'm never coming back. Goodbye. <laughs> and that's it. Maybe I will consider doing something with it later down the line. It's a massive commitment that I'm not sure I want to commit to. I just wanted like a little secret base where all of our characters can hang out and chat. This is the opposite of a little secret base. This is an enormous city scape. And uh, seems like it'll be a lot of effort and a lot of time. And is built on the legacy of corruption. And my god, Planty Mush is not going to be taking part in that, thank you. There'll be no power cycles injecting drugs into people. There'll be no uh, machines deciding whether or not people are degenerates. We're not doing it. Like, I'm happy to build a vault, but we're certainly not going to use any of that. Disgraceful nonsense. Let's get ourselves healed up. Well, there's apparently a couple of sites around here that we haven't visited yet. Okay, well, we're going to have, have a quick look around, I suppose, and then we'll get back to the important stuff. Now, I think we should probably go undercover to the Brotherhood of Steel. I did almost call them the Dark Brotherhood, you're right. I think we should go undercover to the Brotherhood of Steel and see what their game is. Hyde Park. Wow. Okay. This place is clearly inhabited. What the? Raiders. Oh, for God's sake, it's always raiders. Well, that wasn't very impressive, was it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> We'll come and have a poke around here, but I think... I think we're probably just, um... Yeah, we're going to cover the Brotherhood of Steel. I like that idea. I think that's I think that's the plan for today. But bear in mind, we're going to pretend, because we need to figure out what their game is. We need to figure out what they're up to, and kind of, we need to figure out, more importantly, their... their morals. What the plan for the Commonwealth is. Planty Mushes... Planty Mushes home. I tried to jump them, but it just immediately activated the, uh the jetpack. Very unfortunate. Hold on. I think we just need to figure out their game. And then we can make a, an informed decision about which place is right for Planty. Because we've come across most of the place at this point. Uh, hello. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's good. It's good. And I'll, I'll maybe have a look into the whole Vault 88 thing. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go and have a look. Ooh, Grogna the Barbarian number nine. Hello. I might go and have a look online for like a, a half-built vault or a vault that just has like other corridors in place or something like that because... Jesus, that seems like too much of a commitment. Especially given that it was what, like effectively five bases in one? Mm, bit too much. Bit, bit, bit too much, if you don't mind. I guess we won't take a... I guess we won't take a companion Repeating. with us. Ah. This is Paladin Dance ah, there you go. Frequency nine five. Reports to Paladin Dance. All Brotherhood of Steel units are to return to the Cambridge Police Station immediately. For okay. Assignment. We can do that. Now, bear in mind, Planty has heard very mixed things about the Brotherhood. They've quite literally just turned up with a, a an enormous, an enormous weapon, an enormous super weapon, effectively in the form of that airship. Lots of Urta birds really looking to exert control here. Might go against what plants he wanted. And bear in mind, he's only done like two things for the Brotherhood so far. So we're going to go undercover. We're going to turn up and we're going to say, yeah, I love the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, they're my best friends. And we're going to see whether or not we can really trust them. We're going to see if they're really people we want to affiliate ourselves with or 
whether or not we just want to go and say hello and then bail. Let's have a chat with Paladin Dance then, I Gallery's suppose. Arrived. Hello. And it looks like they sent in the big guns. Uh, uh, why did the why did the Brotherhood send it here? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Uh... Uh... What do you think? After rolling on that thing, you've certainly started a war. I think that's very... I think that's very good. I like that. After rolling that thing, you've certainly started a war. If history's proven anything, it's that an overwhelming show of force has a chance of halting a conflict before it begins. Besides, why should we hold back when we have something like that at our disposal? I just don't that think that said, goes with you're plenty about to mushes. You're to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that were both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Uh, uh okay. Uh, for the Brotherhood. Huh. Uh, we've got the other quest, right? Simple and Victor, support the Brotherhood Recon Team. Is that just like a permanent quest? Always in the quest log? Because I don't like that. I don't like having permanent quest log things hanging around. Our vertebrates should give us the air superiority. The See, they're all talking about war and fighting. An overwhelming show of force. Planty Mush has fought before. And he's seen what, what happens firsthand when you fight in a war. The answer is uh, a, a world apocalypse. Now, he knows they're obviously here to fight the Institute, and the Institute he certainly isn't going to be a big fan of, given they uh, kidnapped his kid. Certainly puts you on a shit list, I would imagine. <laughs> but simultaneously, is this the right way to go about it? The Brotherhood don't want justice. That they want control. In front of you is loaded and ready to fire. Oh, okay. If you spot anything hostile during the flight, I suggest you put it to good use. Yes, Make sir, sure Paladin Dance, sir. Identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the locals. No, sir. Yeah, because the brother would never do that. They say as they plow a vertebrate right into Diamond City. That's to be fair, though. That's like just because of poor piloting. The Commonwealth looks different from up here, doesn't it? We haven't it been to there. I don't know why that is. We should go and have a look at that How building. Drastically, your perception of the battlefield changes from the air. It's called it battlefield, but this is Planty's home. We take on the instant. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how will make the difference. Now all we have to do is find them. And I'm betting that Elder Max will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. Wow. Oh, look at that ship up there. <laughs> we did do that, didn't we? It's lovely. It's lovely to look at. Not sure about that crane, though. What's going on up there? Everyone down there believed in our cause, but they've been blinded by rumors and misinformation. Uh. They realized that the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last hope for survival. Every man, woman, and child below is in mortal danger. It's if not that fail, bad down there. It's a matter of time before the enemy overwhelms the population. Cleansing the Commonwealth is our duty. Cle cleansing is a strong word to use. my own blood if it ensures our victory. Cleansing is a very strong word to use, isn't it? Well, Tom might be using plane, but the I don't think there's anything to the shoot. The should be coming into view just ahead. We'll be meeting Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Lancer Captain Kells. Open fire! I'm just joking, uh, Paladin. <laughs> what do you mean I'm expelled from the Brotherhood? <laughs> wow, what a dump, huh? A total dump. How does the Privilege stay afloat, or should I just not worry about it? Because that thing is made of like metal. I think it's made of like metal plates. That isn't like a blimp. This isn't a hot air balloon. What is keeping that thing afloat? It just seems a sort of enormous thruster, but they've clearly got it moored. It's not moving. Are they t they've tied it onto that tower, and it's just like in place. I don't understand. I don't understand how that's there. She is. Surely a couple of rocket launchers would take that out as well. Been aboard. All right, soldier. This is the moment when everything you know, changes. Island. Just gonna have a look at that. I hope you're ready. Okay, Paladin Dance, sir. Wow. Yeah, uh, Paladin Dance. How does this ship stay afloat? <laughs> look it up. See if someone's got an explanation. I mean, I I have no idea how a 
an enormous airship like that would work. Maybe, maybe you can pump it with enough helium that would keep it afloat. Magnets. Fucking magnets. How do they work? If you get a big enough magnet, you put it on the bottom of the ship. The planet has, is magnetic, so you can just repel yourself off. You gotta think about these things. Oh! I thought he was about to run right off the bloody edge then. The Prid one. Here we are. Oh, I love the Brotherhood. Okay. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted. And welcome back, Paladin. It's Tuvok, Allow everyone. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is Tim this Ross. our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the prison and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Yeah. Uh, hello. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. What the fuck are you saying? Look at him. Uh, what is a soldier supposed to look like? A soldier is supposed to be an efficient killing machine, not a relic from the past playing catch up with the rest is of the world. Is that true? If Dance hadn't stepped in and vouched for you, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Accepting outsiders like yourself has proven disastrous in the past. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the. I think Plansy wants to be you a might ruthless expect killing an machine like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one I already have a great deal of latitude with an airship. The has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. Oh. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Uh, absolutely. Good. That's all for oh. now, soldier. Sorry, I... Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After accidentally which, did Elder a 360. Maxon wishes to have a word with you. Well, Elder Maxon himself wants a word. Ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Uh, no thank you, sir. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Uh, the com- the com- uh, oh, it's very embarrassing. Uh, hello. Welcome aboard. Elder Maxon is holding his address inside the command deck. His address? Well, that's gonna be a big important speech that's gonna have a dozen people attending, I'm sure. <laughs> Brothers and sisters. The road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. These are all the initiates. Oh no, senior scribe. Has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose. He's doing the Harkon walk. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our mission beneath the Commonwealth. Total annihilation. There is a cancer. Known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have what he's saying is all that transcends the destructive nature of the fine so far. They call their creation the synth. We all we a love synths. We're friends with synths. Two synths. That is free thinking. And masquerades as a human being. No. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. No. And like the animal, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and oh, their no. saints are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel. But that's Mr. Valentine. With swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign Never! <laughs> okay. And many lives <laughs> will, will be that. lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Ad Ad Victorium. How do they know we're not a synth? And more importantly, why haven't they taken our weapons off of us? We've we've uh, we just stepped aboard there. Like if, if we were Tom an institute. If Ugly had a child, it'd be a super mutant. <laughs> Hesitating to pull the trigger on any of the Commonwealth scum can be fatal. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. How do they know we're not like an institute spy? We could.
just walk in and blow this man away right now. Hello. Yeah. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. Ah, uh, ca care about them? I thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war by starting one of our own. The difference uh. is our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. Uh, 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 what do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've it's read in the dance's reports, you've already begun that journey. Looks a bit weird with Seeing a beard, as he's but... one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. I, I don't and think I want that. Befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on uh, the field uh. of battle. Wear it with pride. Um. Uh, uh. I don't like any of these responses. I'll do my best to live up. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. <laughs> In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with uh. the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. I could just shoot him. I could just shoot him, though. Just shoot him. And... We could just kill him here and now. We could just shoot him in the head. Okay, I guess we're going to have a look around the Pridwen, eh? And see what we've got going on here. Not convinced. Green across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on. Really, really not convinced by that. Now we're a Brotherhood Knight. I just don't like it. How did it look out there? just don't like it. Paladin dance. There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? Uh... He seems young compared to everyone else. Don't let his age fool you. Maxon's a brilliant tactician. A formidable warrior, and possesses an idealistic vision for the future of the Brotherhood. Idealistic I'd is the follow right word. Him anywhere, without question. Uh He's a very that, I like that. That's, that's a political answer. He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it. But if you screw up, we go down together. Uh... Don't worry, I'll be careful. Good. Because we've got a lot of work ahead of us. And I don't want any Sorry, Paladin, they're gonna take you out back now, and execute you. I know you're you. eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Uh, okay. Outstanding. So he's like our companion now then, huh? We've got another level up perk. Okay. Um, tour of duty. Oh, and of course, we've got to do our, our implants too at some point. Meet Night Captain Cade. Pro Proctor Quinlan, Proctor Tegan, Proctor Ingram. Great names. There. Try it now. Nothing. I'm supposed uh, to report to hello. So, you're the new recruit I heard about. You're the one who decided uh, to pick not what I was fire. expecting. Uh, uh, sorry, you're disappointed. I'm not disappointed, Thanks, just surprised. Brother. You don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Uh, 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 okay. Played. Hell, I have a whole table's worth of duties around here. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not I thought that was a cool idea that she uses a power armor frame because she's missing a leg. Or legs. Uh... I hardly noticed. Hmm. Can't tell if you're patronizing me or trying to be polite. How about I just forget you mentioned it? Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. No, uh, not, There's not really. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on Normally it... Normally I'm sticky after the creeps the are on me. Around here. Now, if you'll excuse me... I need to get back to work. I have to weld more pipes to my power armor. Okay, Bay, so you're the new knight, bay 3. Oh, here it is. Hacha! I feel like wearing a helmet under a helmet is a pretty I awful idea. 
Hmm? Okay, uh, let's go and introduce Find ourselves to. You should bring him to Proctor Quinlan for analysis. Thank you. Go and have a chat with this person. Step forward, Knight. Proctor Tegan. Locked me in this blasted cage. I promise that I won't bite. Uh. You know, it looks comfortable. It looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that bad. Now, this is the stowage depot. And I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission... <laughs> Do you sell adhesive? Uh, okay. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, and they give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. Uh... Uh... Caps on the caps. Uh, what extra work are we talking about? Oh no 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 no! It's nothing like you're thinking. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet. Yeah, I'm not taking that question. <laughs> I don't think we're doing for the brother. If you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod. Even ammo. You just let me know. A mod? Do you have vanilla expanded? <laughs> Bye. Right. Uh, where to now then, huh? It's really hard to find our map markers. I guess we'll just steal this suit of power armor and never look back. Oh, here we are. I love the music they've got pumped into the... Uh... Ah, good. You're finally here. Oh, hello. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Uh, I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm. It's a shame we can't be a scribe. I mean, I understand 90% of players wouldn't want that, but... Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? You got big elf energy. Uh, Maxim wanted me to meet the crew. You were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. But However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. Uh, okay. The Brotherhood is primarily interested in collecting information that might assist us with our current mission. Medical records, science journals, weapon schematics. If it contains any type of useful data, we need to get our hands on it. Uh, I, I, I don't want to help. <laughs> that would be no, I don't want to help. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol... I mean, that could be I more planty. waiting to be filled. In any event... It was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Thank you, uh, Mr. Quinlan, sir. Oh, that's added that to our fucking quest. Oh, he's got a cat. Well, of course, the nerdy fellow would have a cat. Yeah. Uh, Glad you finally stopped hello. by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Oh, uh, uh, okay. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Uh, there wasn't much radiation before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay. So you seem like a really good doctor. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Uh, never been sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Uh, uh, those species aren't really my type. Good. I find the practice 
highly distasteful. I presume he's talking about Last ghouls question. and Would you have any problems mutants? pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Uh, it's more of a morals question, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I feel that the mental state of the crew is just as important as the physical. Anyone that hesitates firing in combat due to misguided moral standards certainly Well, we wouldn't. Quite simply, I'm not shooting Nick Valentine. So what about you? Would you have a problem with it? Yeah, uh, I suppose so. Good enough. Excellent. I think I've got all the information oh. I need. No, I meant I suppose I so no I would have a problem with it. There's no way to there's no way to fail that. All the answers are the if same. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Okay. Thank you. Uh now what do we do? Quest complete. We've spoken to everybody. Ah, that one actually was it. Boom, there you go. Okay, uh, Paladin Dance. I've just heard from All right. the com commander, the, well, shit, what's his name? Elder Maxon, that I have to um, go. Yeah. Bye. Uh, so uh, it's time for you to go. Goodbye. I'm not going to lie to you. I think this is a foolish decision. But it's yours to make. Come back alive, soldier. Okay, uh, you can just stay here. That's fine. Bye. Should have sent him to the farm, have him working on the taters. <laughs> okay. Perdwin, come on, deck. Right. It wants us to meet with Elder Maxon. What for? Meet with Elder Maxon. I don't. I don't necessarily want to want to do that ever. Um. So maybe we'll just uh sack that off for now. What is the best direction to go in is my question to you, people of the comment section. What is the best direction to go? Do we play a little brother, bit of Brotherhood? Play along with the... Oh, keep up the act? Like, I play along with their nonsense, do a few quests for them. Or do we, do we say, nah, not interested in the Brotherhood ever, forget that. We're gonna go do something else with our life. We're gonna go, we're gonna go down our own path. What do you think? It's a firing squad. Oh, sorry. I'm not sure. Because I don't think the Brotherhood and Planty are compatible at all. They want to kill all synths. Planty's good friends with the synth. It just doesn't it just doesn't fit. It just doesn't work. So I think, personally, that maybe if we do continue, we certainly don't do too much more. Maybe a couple of introductory quests. I think that's one where we go shoot super mutants. Like that, that won't be too terrible, I don't think. Um, but beyond that, I don't know if any really work for us, huh? I just don't think any really work for us. Now, I think this island, actually, this thing that I saw over here, let's go drop off the power armor. I think that island, somebody in the comments said, was a, a base that we can set up. That would be a cool place to build our headquarters for the unstoppable. So I could be very persuaded to, to take a look at that. Let's go ahead and drop this power armor for anyway. Just stealing this for um. Oh my god, the, the horrible footsteps came back. Ugh. Oh my god, look at all these people. What the fuck's going on? What the hell's happening? Where are all my plants highlighted? Are we good? We miss a party or something? Jesus. Okay, we'll put this with the rest. What would they say if we turn up in Enclave armor? I guess they wouldn't give a shit because that's just kind of how this game goes. <laughs> so, um, right, before we wrap things up today. Oh, good woofty. Before we wrap things up then, let's go and have a look at uh, this island over here. See what there is and see if it's worth grabbing for our own. Don't know if we'll be able to quite jetpack across. Seems like it's quite far away from the mainland. Oh, it is a bit, isn't it? Jesus. Okay, uh, am I just expected to swim over there? That seems quite far. Good though. Good, good, good. Easy for defense. Can wake up some myelites. It seems like a nice place to live, to be honest. Except for all the horrible crabs. Oh! Please, no! Oh god, luxury my luck. All of our companions being on an island together seems potentially like a horrible, awful idea. <laughs> like, really just a terrible plan. Okay, I think we got the legendary my luck. Oh god, it's hatchlings. I'm not fighting all of those. Right. How the hell do we get over there? I guess I do just book it. We just swim the whole way. Okay, then. Well, let's go, Planty. See what we've got going on over here. Oh, There's definitely a map marker. Seems pretty dead, though. 
Wow, this is odd. Okay. It's way further away than I thought. Yeah. Yeah, let's swim. This is sort of odd. What's that fucking noise? Oh, weird. I guess it was just the ambient sound. So we're going to somewhere haunted there for a second. Is that a Myla King? What is that? Myla Hunter? Oh, he's dead. Whatever the hell it was. It could have been a friend. Spectacle Island. Here we are. Okay. It's a cool it's a cool place for an outpost, but it's pretty inconvenient. Sorry, we got fast travel points. So do the companions. Okay. A little shed over here. Uh workshop, 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 workshop. Power armor. Crafting station. Okay. This is a sort of haunted side quest, is it? Settlers, which didn't seem to last very long. Let's go to a little dock. Oh, I like this. This is quaint. This is nice. Get a lot of people hanging out here. They'd love it. A little rowboat. We could do some lobstering. Well, I mean, probably not, given the given current year. Whoa. Look at that shit over there, too. I presume if there is a workshop, it'll be in here. We'll poke around. Uh, well, mini nuke. Okay. Of course. <laughs> Amazing. Oh. Damn. Thank you, little fella. Jesus, two shots. Three shots? I think my gun's broken. I'm not missing these shots. Come on. What the fuck was that about? Okay. Maybe this wasn't the base people were talking about? So we gotta go for the for the map marker specifically. What have we got here? Okay, this is kind of cool. Ah, maybe this this bit here. Uh, hello, settler. Um, just a big empty island. Maybe it is just a big empty island. There has to be something here, surely. I'm gonna add all of this shit and not have anything here. Loads of crates. Do something with that. Might be full of treasure. What is, what is all, all these really far out boats? Jesus. There's so much to see. Right. Um, ah, big old antenna right? Oh, here we go. Look. Can't use this workshop yet. Why? What am I missing? We got we to gotta power it, maybe? Okay, so there is a place for us to go here. Look at that. Is our okay, so where does this go? It goes all the way down here, around here. Over there. <laughs> oh my god. All the way to the ship. We've got to do something on the ship, perhaps? Thought we might have got a quest mark or something. Oh, there is an ice in here though, huh? What is this we found? <gasps> oh it was a bloody lock bubble head. Oh my god, it just happened to be here. Well that was fortunate. Weird. Okay, so where does this where does this power go? It goes into here. Boop. Turn on. Hey! Oh shit! Oh my god, there's a bloody fat man there. Ah. Yep, that'll 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 probably be what we have to kill before we can use the workshop then, eh? Okay, okay, uh plenty. Plenty. Stop blasting. Oh. Oh god. <coughs> oh god. Okay, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. It's all good. Oh! Ah! Careful there. This is what killed all the settlers. God damn, they do a lot of damage. Okay, here we go. We're almost done. Don't panic. Oh god! Every time. Okay. Just totally disappeared from existence. Oh, that's why. Yeah. Oh, disgusting. Oh. Oh my god, we're out of microfusion cells. Oh, <gasps> that's a problem. Oh. <laughs> totally. Oh. Totally out of microfusion cells. Oh god. Okay, well that's um a slight problem. We might have to find some sort of ballistic weapon then. Change of pace. Shit. I wonder if now we can use the workshop. Ah. Uh, oh no. Uh we got anything else? Yes, we do. Oh, it's okay, we're good. We can use the fat man, worst case scenario. Do you even see rifle? Okay, this is the best we've got. Was incendiary automatic 10 millimeter? Doesn't do much, does it? Oh, oh, disgusting. Oh. <gasps> Ow. 
I love the idea of turning this island into a base. I really do. Even though it seems a lot larger than the place I refused. Can I use this workshop here? Still. Like that. Ah. Ah. Can I use the workshop? Yeah, we're not going to survive. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. What have I done? Okay. Um, maybe we cut our losses and come back. <laughs> Hold on. Mysterious stranger. Stranger. Shit. Okay, okay. We can slowly take him out. Might take a while. Oh, no. They're, they're, they're pissing off. We're okay. We're okay. We're good. Okay, then. Right. Um, do I want to turn this into our base? Well, that's another question for another day, isn't it? Uh, I need to assess some other places that could be good. But this is... It's fun because it's so isolated. I'm worried that it'll take... Oh, Jesus. I'm worried that it'll take 100 years to tidy this place up. Because there's like a lot of junk here that would need to go. And I'd have to add the scrap everything mod so we can get rid of some of these bloody bushes and whatever else as well. Jesus. Okay. Wow, it covers the whole island. Oh, my God. Oh, that is sick. Okay, I really could be persuaded with this one. I'll look into it a bit more. I'll do some research. I'll see what I can find. Maybe there's a little mod that's again, speed things up, close it all out or something like that. And I'll go from there. Either way, thank you for joining me today. We're going to see if we can find a place that we can fast travel away. Otherwise, we're going to be shooting my likes with a weapon we are absolutely not prepared for. A break out of combat here. But yeah, no, I think that'll... Oh, no, please stay away. Oh, let's recline my work. We can't, we can't fight that. We can't fight that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. B a bit of a messy episode, finishing off the vault and then doing something I'm not really interested in, which is the Brotherhood of Steel, and then coming out here and running away from crabs. There you go. I think we're good. Whoa. Yeah, this seems like it could be quite a fun base. It's near the castle, too, which is our Minuteman settlement, so I kind of like that. I think that's kind of fun. Let's see what happens. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll turn up tomorrow with a fun surprise.